In Clirich Vale, two old friends make a familiar pilgrimage. They're walking to the Cambrian Memorial. It remembers the day and the disaster that happened here 50 years ago. One of them witnessed it, the other survived it. 31 other men didn't. The explosion happened less than an hour before the morning shift was due to finish work. Though it was 870 feet below ground, the blast was heard for miles. The explosion at Cambrian Colliery made international news. TV cameras capturing the moments as mothers, wives and children waited to hear how fate would touch them. The scale of the disaster was obvious. Mr. Merthyn Pritchard, 13 years a minor, is the father of two baby girls. He was one of the lucky 13 who got out alive. Just sitting down, talking to the firemen and a couple of inmates. Bang, everything went black. We all wondered what had happened. And we looked at the face then, at the cold face, and there was thick brown smoke coming out there. Terrible. Merv has relived that moment every day for five decades. What's it like coming back here? Did the memories come back? Oof. Yes. He lost mates in the explosion. That morning, he'd swapped places with one of them. I was knocked off my feet. I, my uh, cap lamp has blown over, and by the time I got my feet, then I could see all this smoke coming down. So I went to the mouth of the face and shouted up to go limp. Even once. Uh, Bill Richards witnessed the recovery and the fallout as lists of the dead were posted for all to read. The tragedy didn't just stop on May the 17th, it spilled over to the weeks and months that followed. Uh, and strangely, all of those days, they've all rolled into one. At the funerals, men who had worked together and died together were remembered together. See the, the, the shop shut, the policemen directing traffic, and the people lining the roads, and grand, grandparents with little kids putting their arms around them protectively, and uh, the scenes at the ceremony, you know. It, it brought Rhonda to a standstill. This post marks the area where number one mine once stood. It was hundreds of feet below this ground where the explosion happened. The memorial was opened in the 1990s and they've held ceremonies here ever since. But Sundays is likely to be the last. There just aren't enough people who remember that day in May. So on the anniversary, um, what, uh, what will you be thinking of? Uh, well, look, I am to be here. They could easily have been me and Gwilin's place. Mervyn will read the roll call to the dead on Sunday. It will be a poignant moment as Clidach Vale remembers the last major deep coal mining disaster in Wales. Rob Osborne, ITV News. <laughs>